I grabbed a whole box of pictures, um, some uh, pictures on CD, a uh, brand new purse that I <laughs> never got to use, and my kids. And we went to my neighbor's house, jumped in the cellar, and another 30 minutes later, everything was gone. Really, the day after the tornado, uh, the Bar Association took a, uh, an active role in reaching out to its members through our Disaster Relief Committee and uh, asking for volunteers to assist with anything these victims uh, needed. We started with the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. Um, we've served from tornadoes, earthquakes, floods, um, basically anything that Oklahoma sees, we have been there. The Red Cross is out there trying to provide, you know, food and shelter and water. Uh, you know, health clinics are out there trying to provide health services. There's a lot of people that take efforts to um, help people after a disaster, but there are legal services that these people need that not other, that no one else can provide other than lawyers. I was completely in shock because the mortgage company was um, wanting payment as soon as possible, and obviously there was no home there anymore. So and I was in no place to make any payment and um, so I wasn't for sure what to do. So she had no way to make that payment unless she could collect on her insurance money and uh, they were still at least 30 days away from determining the amount to pay her uh, under the, on the claim. Uh, at that point you're not worried about making payments or where your insurance is, you're worried about your, keeping your family safe, finding any mementos, any anything of your past and looking forward to how you're going to rebuild your life. Not only was she afraid that they would foreclose on essentially nothing, but the, the, the effect of that is it was going to ding her credit, it was going to affect her credit, but they were also threatening she would be responsible for paying their, her, their attorneys to foreclose on the slab. It was maddening to know that you've got somebody who's in this position clearly did everything right as far as securing insurance, uh, taking care of her household, and she's in this position where the mortgage company says, I'm sorry, uh, the contract's the contract and we're going to move forward. You owe us the money. You better find a way to get it. And the, the uh, insurance company saying, our hands are tied. We, uh, it takes time to resolve these issues and we can't make a payment yet. And she was between a rock and a hard place. I lost everything didn't know what to do, nowhere to turn, and, um, and so I didn't know what to do, and he ba basically made me feel like it was all going to be okay and not to worry, and, um, and I felt really good, like a burden had been lifted. Luckily, uh, I was able to speak with an agent of the insurance company who was local. Uh, after several phone calls, explaining the situation to him, uh, we were finally able to um, reach an agreement wherein he would make a, or the insurance company would make a partial payment toward uh, the total amount. That partial payment was going to be large enough to, to catch up the mortgage and keep the bank from foreclosing. Disaster victims immediately need a lot of help with landlord-tenant issues, with family law issues, with wills and estates and probate issues. Um, that really seems to be a lot of the immediate need. And after that occurs, they have a lot of concerns with filing insurance claims, um, communicating with the insurance company to fi finalize those claims, um, contractor issues with people coming in to try to repair houses and build houses where there may be price gouging that occurs, or just work that's not done properly, um, as well as work that's not paid for on both ends. And so the, the issues that we see really change over time. But I did feel like it was a turning point in my life, in my children's life, to take the steps for divorce. And um, because there was no hope there, I felt like that um, we had done everything that we could. And prior to the tornado, there was um, some problems. But uh, the tornado just pretty much sealed the deal on the whole thing. She met with a coworker of mine uh, who knew the story because it was such a, to me, it was such a moving story when when we were involved after the tornado. And he met with her uh, for about an hour and uh, it, was, it was an emotional meeting and walked out and uh, he, do, he does family law, some family law, and he said, you know, I've never done a uh, pro bono family law, a divorce case, because divorce cases are contentious. Uh, normally the lawyer, regardless of which side you're on, 
isn't the good guy because somebody's upset. Uh, but he came out and said, I've never done a promo of a divorce case, but I'm going to represent that lady. Well, I think every time you hear a story from one of the survivors about how legal services and the, pro the program that we provide through this service has helped them and helped them get back on their feet and helped them get back to some sort of a normal life, um, that has to make you the most proud. You want to help. You want to reach out and help these people. And, you know, we have first responders, we have firemen, we have ambulance, we have police officers. We have, you see all those people go in and help and I'm not a fireman, uh, I'm not a first responder, and so it's great that even somebody like me uh, can come in at some point and provide assistance, assistance to those who need it.